Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon all of you. So a few reasons why reading is better, is a better choice when we're talking about intentionally self-disciplining yourself and getting and replacing screen time with something else. Now, a lot of you will tell me that you have time away from screens when you're at a job. That's great. If you're working a job, keep doing that. That's wonderful. A lot of you will tell me that you have time away from screens maybe when you're taking a class. Others will tell me you have time away from screens uh, when you're playing sports or playing with a sports team. That, that's wonderful. And even with the screen time, you know, screen time goes up in the winter. But I know from school, seeing uh, the, the kids who are on the basketball team, a lot of times they have like a, lot, a much more positive energy going during the winter uh, compared to everyone else. And a big reason for that is they're getting intentional time away from screens and they're replacing it with exercise. And exercise, if you can do it, is something that is very good to replace the screen time with. Additionally, the kids at my school during the basketball season, they have the positive influence of their coach. Shout out to Coach Emil. But all those things, we're going to job, taking a class, being on a sports team. Those are all things where you're getting time away from the screen and you're doing it through a way where you're you where there's a structure in place that you're taking advantage of and, and it's a good type of taking advantage of it but the job you know the place you work at set up a structure for you to work at so they put a structure in place for you to have something to do away from the screen the basketball team the school system or the aau or whoever they set that structure up for you to have a place to go and do something and be away from the screen the same thing with schools and classes so these are so this is away from screen time where you are away from the screen, which is great, but you're, you, but you're able to do it because institutions set up a structure for you. So I'm not saying to not do any of those things at all. Do them. But in addition to that, the screen time that you're using, you want to try to reduce some of it intentionally yourself only because you are making the decision to do it and you are implementing the practice. Now, and the question will always come up with that, especially because of how br prone you guys are to boredom, which I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to post this video, but either before this or after this, I'll have had some things said on that. With how prone you guys are to boredom when you want to get away from screens, you, you're always going to have the question of, well, what else do I do? Because you literally suffer when you're bored. So, so reading is a better, so reading is a choice that is available to any of you. It's available to any of you, and I specifically mean uh, reading from a book. Now, mister, what about audiobooks, or what about listening to a podcast, or listening to something like this? Now, audiobooks and podcasts, if they're good and they're informative, they can be good too. But still, and you know, your generation is not a great generation of readers. You haven't developed that way. Unfortunately, too many of you were not taught well how to read. Too many of you had teachers who went too quick to play in the movie instead of walking you through books and showing you how to comprehend them. And unfortunately, too many of you had teachers who were told that they should give you an easy book to read, a book easier than you were actually capable of reading because that was somehow because that was somehow better for you because it was going to be easier. That's a whole different issue, but I might talk about that type of thing on here because I do have teachers following this channel now. But your generation, and, and of course the digital devices play into it, you're not a great generation of readers. So reading, it's going to be something that you can use to differentiate yourself from people in your generation. It's something that if you develop it, you're going to get a strong skill that's going to help you in ways you can't even imagine right now. The second thing about it is, as I said before, specialized knowledge that you need to get ahead is hidden within the depths of books. And reading is the most efficient way to ascertain new knowledge, to gain new knowledge, once you have the skill built up to do it. On average, an adult reads 250 to 300 words a minute. But the average talking time is 150 to 160 words spoken in talking. So just the amount of information that you're able to intake through reading, once you have it developed as a skill, it allows you to intake 30 to 50% more information than you're able to by listening to someone talk, whether they're speaking in a lecture or whether it's an audio book. Now, when you're reading too, when you read from a book, 
reading provokes certain thoughts in you. So part of, re part of reading is managing the process where when you make new connections from the reading and it gives you thoughts, you stop the reading and think about it before, before moving on. This is, this is how reading comprehension works. When you're listening to someone talk or you're listening to an audio book, really the, the same thing still needs to take place. If, if you're actually getting information from it and you're able to make new connections, draw new ideas from the information you're learning, you still, you, you still need time to process it. But if you're just listening, the, the listening track is going to continue going on. So some of the people don't realize when they're listening, you still need to do this, this kind of stopping and thinking to fully get the most out of whatever information you're taking in when you're listening versus reading. But just listening is a way of which, and it has an important role in learning as well, listening, but the, but the whole process is slowed down with listening. So developing the skill as a reader, again, it's just a very important uh, lifelong skill that, sh that you want to have. And it first benefits you now relating to being something that you can do to intentionally self-discipline yourself away from the phone. Now, again, you can still find other things that you do yourself instead of being on the phone. But reading is something that is there easily during those times when you're bored those times when you're bored, you know, and, and relating this to, um, the need for teenagers to have some, have exciting experiences and thrilling experiences with dopamine and part of their development. The thing is for, for kids who live in cities coming, having healthy ways to come by those things is it's hard to come by. There, there's certain challenges I'll talk about in a different video compared to the, compared to kids who live in the suburbs and who live in small towns, basically, which which it, it essentially comes down to having more outdoor activity available to you uh, when you don't live in the city. So you know, have so so developing a passion for reading and experiencing the thrill of getting new knowledge that is not common everyday knowledge that everyone else has that everyone else is talking about on screens. That again, it's a way that you can feel a sense of empowerment that you need at your age um, and doing it in a healthy and productive way that is also building habits and building skills that are going to complement success in the future.